Hello everybody and welcome on my YouTube channel. You are with uh, Alan Rees and today we are on the test server to test the new sign-in hero for the month of March. It will be Boxer. Boxer is a frontliner, so if you are checking a frontline strength hero can strike enemies by her EV punch, it's a femal, it's interesting uh, to know. About her statistic, 77,000 uh, HP, 860 of armor, 610 of uh, magical resistance, 1000 of uh, critical score, and uh, 5450 of attack power. So, she doesn't have uh, so much uh, attack power, but it's a tank oriented uh, character, so I don't think that uh, she needs so much uh, power. Uh, with the training field, you will increase HP, armor, and magical resistance. So you will have one uh, character who will be around 100,000 HP when she will be full, 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 full. Armor will be around uh, 1,200 uh, and uh, magical resistance will be around uh, 730 so it's a not bad statistic for sure as a defensive character and we will now discover her skills Ultimate skill of uh, Boxer, uh, Blast Punch. Aya launches a uh, EV punch to knock back the enemy, dealing damage to enemy units directly behind the target. So I think it will be uh, area damage for the second line behind the tank. And we will see where she will launch, uh, where she will knock back the enemy. It can be perhaps interesting. Second skill, the uh, green one, uh, crashing uh, punch. Aya punches an enemy and reduces his armor value, so damage by uh, 2625 and uh, targets armor reduced by 315. Nothing uh, crazy, nothing bad, so we will see. Third skill, the blue skill, a stunning punch. Aya punches an enemy and stuns him. Increased damage by 4200. Stunning hit rate increased with level, blah, 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 blah. And finally, purple skill, slamming punch. Aya slams the ground to damage nearby enemies, reducing their attack speed and movement speed. Increased damage by 2100. So, I'm thinking when I'm reading this skill that this character is more uh, tank support oriented than a uh, damage dealer, but we will see it uh, right now before we will check her position on the battlefield. So in according to the other frontliners, it will be interesting to see exactly where she is. Oh, she's in front cross knight. So I think she will be really, really in front. Just for the moment. Oh, in front Oz. Nobody's in front of her for the moment. Oh, Evan, Evan Dwarf is behind. So it means she will be first. I think she, she will be first. Yes, it's the most uh, frontline character that we have actually in the game. So I hope that she's uh, tanky and able to receive uh, damage. Normally, yes, but I really want to see it in action and we'll begin by one versus one. As far as she's a tank, uh, I will put her alone. I want to see. Oh, her uh, um, second skill can be dodge. This is not uh, one amazing point for, for her. She's not eating really strong, but nothing crazy. How much time is the debuff? One, two. Oh, the, the good point, if she is not interrupt between uh, two uh, cycles of action, she uh, is able to let the debuff of armor on the target and the knockback is really strong like you saw when she knock back she knock back okay damage are not uh, crazy this skill is really interesting to control the enemies 
and I will accelerate a little bit because we don't have uh, nothing interesting anymore on this fight. We put four, and we will see. Finally, yes, 110 uh, damage. <laughs> 100% it's not uh, an aggressive character it will be a character that perhaps we will be able to build one team around her to take advantage of her debuff but I don't know for the moment I'm not uh, I'm not so excited let's uh, begin by the damage test in full team I will put the damage test in uh, fast speed because I'm just interesting about the ultimate skill to see the impact for the other hero who are not uh, directly knocked back. So it will be now. Okay, 4000 damage, uh, nothing crazy. So I will do it in speed up. It's a tank, so for sure she will not uh, she will not deal uh, one milliard damage, but she's far for one milliard. <laughs> okay, this skill is really interesting. The fourth skill is really nice. Let's check. So yes, one hundred thirty thousand. Like I was thinking, we will try to use her now in a real fight and see what we can do with her. Against a metagame Turtle Fighter team, we will see what she is able to do. I'm really interested to see if she can hold damage in front line or not. So we are lucky we grab uh, um, the Priest. Okay, she, she has good pool of HP and good sword ability. This is a fact. But uh, her damage are just uh, horrible. Look <laughs> back, rabbit behind. And we will win. Not, uh, I'm not sure that we are winning because of her, but we are winning. Okay. Let's check the statistics of the fight. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, Priest uh, did the job, <laughs> we can tell that. She didn't die, so it's a tank who uh, didn't die. It's already one uh, good point for her. We will test her in another situation. I'm trying to take advantage of the uh, debuff armor of a boxer, but it's uh, really hard to do. <laughs> I'm trying a lot of uh, different configuration, and for the moment I need to confess that I'm not uh, really successful. Okay, I killed uh, at least Sorceress. Poor. And finally, she's surviving. She, she, she has something for her. She can survive. She's uh, doing some uh, debuff. 37,000. So it means uh, she will increase damage around 3-4,000 by uh, critical hit. Yes, 61,000 damage. It's... Uh, it's not amazing at all. So let's uh, try a last fight. For the last fight, uh, I'm trying to keep uh, the same thinking. Uh, I want physical setup to take advantage of the armor debuff and to see what we'll be able to do. She has really a huge capacity to receive damage. It's it's true. Uh, when when I'm showing you, I'm not so excited because yes, she's a little boring in my opinion, but she's not horrible bad. We have some tanks who are not able to deal damage, not able to tank, not able to do nothing. She has some advantage. She will debuff the enemy and she will survive. But for the rest, she needs to have a good good assist in the team. Finally, I will put in uh, speed 2. 
we will finish. And she's alive. I want to see the statistic of the fight. So statistic of the fight, yes, uh, 58,000 damage and a big damage from uh, Bounty uh, Queen and uh, she missed. Tarot Prophet uh, died uh, really quickly, but we did it. So we have some possibilities with her, but uh, we will see now, we'll discuss first of all about her strengths and weaknesses. Two important points for a boxer. First point, it's her survivability, who is really high. You saw it during the video. She's really difficult uh, to burst. And if we are checking again her statistic, we have one character who has around 100,000 HP, 1,173 of armor, and 729 of magical resistance when she's full training. It's really impressive uh, defensive uh, statistic. Second important point, it's her skill who, is, who are able to debuff targets. So we have debuff armor, we have a debuff attack speed and movement speed, and we have a knockback. So three important points, and even uh, this one, we have one stun. So it's a support tank for sure. She will not deal crazy damage, but with the proper team, I think she's uh, possible to use. Her main weakness is her damage. Actually, it's one character who is nearly dealing no damage and it's one problem in the metagame because we have tank actually who are able to do her job better. Now, for example, we have a Dwarf Warrior who will be better as tank. We have Cross Knight who will be better as tank than her and who will have an heal for Cross Knight and deal some damage for a Dwarf Warrior. And we have a Turtle Fighter who will do all uh, what we have uh, possible in the game. So this character has good defensive statistic, but She's dealing really, really low damage and it's one problem. Okay, she's a buffer, not a buffer, a debuffer for the enemy team, but I'm not sure that it's uh, sufficient. And I will now uh, show you my evaluation of this hero, but you will not have surprise about this point. I put Boxer as a situational hero because in my opinion, she is not an absolute garbage. She is not for a PvE and she can be used in some situation. For example, if you are going in a top 64 of a championship, she has one place in five tank, it's possible. If you are uh, playing in a guild tournament, she will have one place for a proper team. It will be not a problem, but except it's that I explained bef just before uh, why she's not uh, the best hero in my opinion. She's uh, too far behind other heroes that we have already in the metagame and who are, I think, uh, better than her. So perhaps I'm uh, mistaken, but I don't think so. And I think we will not see her uh, so much in uh, the metagame in the future if she stays like she is in the test server because sometimes you know that they are able to do some important modifications. So it will be the sign-in hero of March for sure. If you have enough resources, you can invest on her. But if your resources are uh, limited, don't invest on her. I think you have uh, better things to do with your resources. Thank you everybody for watching uh, this uh, review. We will meet uh, tomorrow for the uh, fight in War of the God. Like I told in my other video, I'm uh, close to the top uh, 200. So fights begin to be uh, really interesting. And I hope uh, tomorrow I will propose you something that uh, you will enjoy. If you want to follow my actuality, you can go on my social network, Facebook or uh, Twitter as you want. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel and if you want to support my work you can click in the last link in the uh, top right corner of my face thank you guys bye bye